Collins, she said it's when she's at her most vulnerable and she was at the peak of her recovery. It was back in January that this happened. So imagine getting that news when you've just recovered from an operation. It must have been absolutely mortifying for her and extremely mortifying for the hospital because this is a hospital that prides itself on privacy. I mean, of course, all hospitals do, but particularly the London Clinic, which is also treating the king at the same time. So it's a total and utter disaster all round, really. And, and we'll talk about, I'll talk about Kate in a sec and the continuing Ferrari, but I think there's an important point that Sarah Hewson made made earlier. Everybody, whoever you are, the king, queen, down to whatever, it's a private matter. I'm not saying that if somebody had stolen her a data that anybody, in any newspaper, nobody would have published it. We had Kinsey Schofield on earlier, Charlotte, don't know if you heard, and she was saying that people online in America are saying they're influencers and they knew about this. So there's obviously, you know, there's obviously talk, but it's a disgusting intrusion of one's privacy, irrespective of who you are, right? It's illegal. Yeah, it doesn't matter whether you're at an NHS hospital or the most, you know, exclusive hospital in England. It's a total and utter, you know, breach of her privacy. And this is a family that's, of course, obs obsessed with their privacy, quite rightly, and uh, especially William. William would have been absolutely furious because he's incredibly protective over Kate. And I'm, I'm actually just with a doctor here, uh, where I am at the moment, and she was saying that... Um, you know, if you're a doctor, you can't even look at your own medical records. You can't just sort of check your own me medical records because the, the rules are so incredibly strict around these things. Very so, yeah, it's a terrible breach. Do you think that the royal family should have done something differently here, Kensington Palace or the wider royal firm, and announced that somebody else perhaps was going to be taking over Kate's role in those three months that she was away to try and stop this kind of speculation and the demands for access to photographs of her and more information? I don't think they should have announced a replacement for her, but perhaps in hindsight, and don't forget, this is quite unprecedented for Kensington Palace to deal with. Um, I think in hindsight, they could have done what they did with King, the King, which is be pretty open about what's wrong with her. Now, she is quite private and she doesn't want the details to come out of her operation, but they could have maybe given us a little bit more of a direction other than abdominal surgery but or Charlotte, been even can clearer I, can about I jump the in? No, I, I, You know I love you and I, and I agree with you, but sure... I, I think they played it wrong, by the way. I think that, and I said this to Nick from the beginning, if you say we're hearing nothing between now until the end of Easter, stick to that. But unfortunately, because the world's changed, because the royal family need to, if you like, encourage a younger generation, they got wound up by everybody having their say. But let me put the scenario you just said. If they'd been specific, and I have a very strong opinion of what operation she had, and there is no way on God's earth that I would ever say that here, only to my closest friends and family, but... If they'd put that, there would have been more speculation. Surely this started, unfortunately, with a well-intentioned photo, I think. I think they should have just left it like that. But even this overnight, was saying earlier, this adds to the Ferrari. This is just another part of a story that won't go away. And we were saying yesterday on the show, it's the most Googled thing in America, more than Biden and Trump together. That's how... People are desperate to know about this woman, who I personally think is the future of the British monarchy, and I think that's half the issue. Yeah, I mean, she must feel so trapped, because we're all entitled to three months off, I mean, at one point in our entire lives or our entire careers, for a very specific and, and important reason. And she's what she's learned here is that she can't actually take substantial time off, and she might be, off, you know, she might be on the the throne, uh, you know, for years and years to come. And she just knows now that she can never take a break. But to your earlier point about her having a replacement, I think if they actually replaced her and said we've appointed, say, Sophie Wessex in her place, oh, I think that would have fueled speculation as well, because we'd yeah. be thinking, right. gosh, how ill is she that she needs an understudy or she needs somebody to step in for her? I think but I, I, I agree with you, what you're saying you about win. the photo. They should have just win. left it. I just mm. think it's an impossible mm. one. I don't think you can win. I think that whatever you... You don't yeah. say enough, we want more. You say a little bit, we want more. We say too much, you're going to be hiding something. It's like, I yeah. don't know, It does. It, the devil and the deep blue sea. Um, do you think this is at an end? I mean, overnight, the story about the, the privacy things, and we've made the point that's illegal for everybody. Do you think this is just going to be a continual fighting fire with fire? I mean, is this going to carry on or is it going to subside now, do you think? I think I don't think it's going to subside until we see Kate perhaps on Easter Sunday mm. doing a walkabout with the royals. Unfortunately for her, I just don't think it's going to subside until she's back at work. And, you know, that's probably a quite a daunting prospect for somebody who's recovering from a serious operation. But honestly, I think when we see her on walkabouts, when we see her like we've seen Prince William over the last few days, engaging with the public again, doing what they do best, 
uh, talking normally, making little off the cuff remarks, then we'll all be reassured that, you know, she's back, she's fine, she's back to her old self. But unfortunately, until then, I just think it's going to be one thing after another, and it must feel totally overwhelming for her right now. With